Okay, here we're going to compare FIFO versus LIFO inventory costing and how each of these methods affect our balance sheet and our income statement. First, I'll go through examples here for each of the methods to show what inventory costs are included in our cost of goods sold on our income statement and our ending inventory on our balance sheet. So we're going to go through these examples using tables here. Now the tables are going to be laid out here. We've got our beginning inventory. That's actually all the inventory that's included for the period. And then we have our cost of goods sold. That's the inventory that we used for the period. And then our ending inventory, well that's what remains after we subtract the cost of goods sold from all this this total inventory that we have for the period. And then our tables are laid out here where we got our lowest invent our oldest inventory with the lower cost here listed on the top. And as we proceed down the table, then we get down to our newest inventory with it higher prices. So our examples or our models here will be based on rising prices or rising costs. So after going through the examples here for FIFO and LIFO, I'll show you a simple balance sheet and income statement so we can make a comparison between the FIFO and the LIFO inventory costing. So let's just start here uh, by going showing each of these methods and how they work. Okay, let's look at our inventory here as first in, first out, or FIFO. This is where we use our oldest inventory first. So any items purchased or manufactured first will be sold first. So our cost of goods sold for the inventory here would be using our oldest prices. And that's what's reflected on our income statement, those oldest prices for our inventory. Now what remains in our inventory would be our ending inventory. Now that would reflect here our newest inventory or our most recent prices. Now that is what we include here in inventory account on our balance sheet. Now our balance sheet would have the current cost or the newest inventory. Whereas our income statement or what we recognize here as a cost of goods sold would have our older prices because that's the inventory we use first, this oldest inventory. Okay, let's look at inventory as last in, first out, or LIFO. This is where we use our newest inventory first. So the items that we most recently purchased or manufactured would be sold first. And that's what we recognize here as our cost of goods sold for our inventory, our income statement. So the income statement has a current sales matched with current costs. And what remains here in our end in ending inventory would be our oldest inventory. And those would be our oldest prices for our inventory. And that's what would be included here in our inventory account on our balance sheet. Now that balance sheet here would have these older costs for our ending inventory. Whereas our income statement, that used our most recent costs or our current costs for our inventory. Okay, here we're going to be making a comparison between FIFO and LIFO by looking at changes on our balance sheet and our income statement. And for this comparison, we're going to be using the same tables with the cost of goods sold and the inventory amounts that we used in our previous examples. And this is where we had uh, listed our oldest or our lower uh, cost priced uh, inventory here on the top of the table and then as we move down the table this is where we had our newest inventory with our highest prices. So our model here will be based on rising costs and rising prices. So let's make a look at or review each of our uh, inventory methods here. We'll look at our FIFO and our LIFO. So let's start with our FIFO. This is where we used our oldest inventory first and that's what would be included here in our income statement as a cost of goods sold and that would be our lower priced inventory. Now for our ending inventory that would be our newest inventory with its higher prices and that's what would be included here in the balance sheet. Now moving over here to our LIFO or our last in first out, this is where we would have used our newest inventory first with us highest prices and that's what we would be included here on in our income statement. And then our remaining or our ending inventory, that would be our lowest uh, priced inventory, our oldest inventory, and that's what would be included here on in our balance sheet. Okay, let's look at our balance sheet for comparison between FIFO and LIFO. 
Now FIFO, this is where we use our oldest inventory first with the uh, lower costs. So our ending inventory on our balance sheet would include our newest inventory with its higher costs. Now looking at our LIFO, this is where we used our newest inventory first with its higher costs. So the ending inventory here on our, on our balance sheet for our LIFO would be our old and older inventory with its lower costs. So making the comparison here between LIFO and FIFO, you can see a substantial difference here uh, in a reduction in inventory and our total assets as well here between FIFO and LIFO. Okay, let's look at our income statement here and make the comparison between FIFO and LIFO. So let's start with our FIFO. This is where we used our oldest inventory first. So our cost of goods sold here would include our oldest inventory with their lower costs. Now, just looking at determining our income here, we would take our sales, save $100,000 less the cost of goods sold of $48,000 and then our gross profit would be $52,000 here and then subtract out $10,000 worth of operating expense our net income here would be $42,000. Now let's look at our LIFO here. This is where we would have used our newest inventory first. So our cost of goods sold would be our newest inventory with the higher costs. So just looking at our um, calculating out here where we got a sales of $100,000 less this $92,000 cost of goods sold, then our gross profit would be only $8,000. Then subtract out our operating expenses here of $10,000, then we would have uh, actually a, a negative net income here of $2,000. So you can see the comparison between the FIFO and LIFO where FIFO we had a greater net income than LIFO and that's because our cost of goods sold for FIFO w included the older inventory with the lower cost versus our LIFO here which included the newest inventory with the higher costs. Okay, so in summary, choosing between FIFO and LIFO inventory methods can have a big change here on our balance sheet for the total number of assets that we're carrying. And the same is true for our income statement choosing between FIFO and LIFO. That can have a big effect here on the net income that we realize. Now for the examples that we went through here, we were using uh, increasing prices or increasing costs for our inventory. Now I had the inventory actually had a def deflationary factor where we had decreasing prices here in our inventory. The opposite would be true here on our balance sheet and our income statement. Now if we had the case here where our inventory prices were constant, uh, that was there was no change here between the oldest and newest inventory, then the choosing between FIFO and LIFO would have really no effect here on our balance sheet or our income statement.